Hello, I am Bones, in this video I will be showcasing every relevant keybind in Roblox Studio to make you a faster builder. But first, look at this. I won't be annoying about it, let's continue. The only reason I wish to grow on YouTube is to teach more people how to build, I don't make money from this. So please, comment, Bones, to help bump this into the algorithm. Most keybinds will have a name relative to their action, for instance here, Ctrl N will open up a new studio file. I have enough studio tabs open right now. And Ctrl O will open from file, allowing you to open up an RBXL file. Control Shift O will open from Roblox, allowing you to pick from the Roblox interface. And this isn't required if your game is published and is auto saving. Control S will save the file to Roblox. This is similar to Open Command, but Control Shift S will save it locally as an RBXL instead of opening it locally. Pressing Alt-P will simply publish your game, this does not mean it is public for anybody to play though. Pressing F while having a part selected will zoom you into orbit the part. Holding Ctrl and using the equals and plus symbol will zoom in and out in increments. Likewise using comma and period will pan you left and right. Page up and page down will simply change your camera up and down. This one is essential. Ctrl-D will duplicate parts whereas Ctrl-C and Ctrl-V will copy and paste. Ctrl-Shift-V will paste into selected, meaning the part pasted into will become a parental part, meaning it is inside of it in Explorer. As you can see it is adding parts inside of one another. Ctrl-X will cut the part and place it onto your clipboard to be pasted. Ctrl-A selects all, it literally will select everything. Ctrl G will group the selected parts into one group. Ctrl Z and Ctrl Shift Z will undo and redo actions. You can also press Ctrl Y to redo. If you have beta dragger quality of life on, you don't need to press Ctrl. But for dragger here, you press 1, this is common for all tools up to 5. You can press 2 for the move tool. I ran out of time to mention it, but holding shift will disable snapping. You can press 3 for the scale tool, there are quite a few keybinds of its own in here. Such as, holding shift to disable snapping. holding control to scale from both faces. Holding Alt to scale uniformly. And even variating them or holding all at once. For selects the rotate tool, similar to dragger, rotate, and move, holding shift will disable snapping. Pressing Ctrl L will change your movement axis, toggling from local to world, local will move based on the orientational value, world will change on the default 90 degree angle. Ctrl T just tilts the part 90 degrees depending on which way you are facing the part. controller rotates the part 90 degrees on the XZ axis. Shift 2 is not a widely known one, but when using scale or move, it rounds your studs to the nearest hole. For instance a decimal stud will be moved to 1 or 0 depending on if it's above or below a 0.5 or simply whichever way you are previously dragging.
Alt L allows you to toggle lock parts, meaning they are not selectable. This is what the base plate has enabled when you make a new map to stop you from selecting it. You can undo or press Alt L to retoggle. Control Shift G allows you to union parts. I typically wouldn't use hotkeys for this as clicking is faster. Control Shift N allows you to negate selected parts quickly. Keep in mind negation is a state, not an action. After negating you need to select two parts and union them still. Control Shift I intersects unions, essentially cutting everything out except the parts that are touching. F5 simply allows you to playtest. Shift F5 stops the playtest, sending you back to Studio Editor. I'll be honest, I messed up here, F8 actually loads you into a free cam playtest, I entirely skipped over it, sorry. I am actually pressing F7 here, which loads your playtest into a separate window. The next few keybinds are pretty much the same, Shift Control and 1 to 5. Opening multiple status UI, such as render, network, showing you polygon draw, etc. I think it's fair to state that most of this video is based on the keybinds from the Creator Forum. This video is just made for people who follow along better with a video format. However, the full list of keybinds will be linked below in the description. Here's something fun I made. Please watch it. Thank you for watching, please send this video to others or interact to help more people see it. Goodbye.